This week has been one of the most challenging and heartbreaking in Sault Ste. Marie's history, which has added to the heartbreak that our community has felt over the last several months. There are no words to adequately describe the tragedies we've experienced. On behalf of the city, I extend the community's collective condolences and support to the families and the loved ones of the victims. And I just want to say to the people of Sault Ste. Marie, this should be starting out of this community because it's received the most devastation yet. It's a tragic situation. There's a lot of reasons for what happened happened. Till all the details are worked out and sorted out, we're still guessing and whatever. But in the bottom end of all, what, what, what it boils down to is, I've got to do something so that no other family in this country will suffer the way that my family and my extended family, my, my, my girls that I call all my girls, all my girl, all my daughter's girlfriends are all my girls because they're special people and my daughter helped make them special people. And they are going to be part with me to get a movement going here to stop all this terrible nonsense and violence. I know that as a community, we all wanted to show our support. We all wanted to offer our condolences. But I think we all didn't really know how to do that. And that was part of why I thought it was important to organize this event. My daughter was a beautiful soul. She had a big heart. It was her big heart that cost her life. I never made a script. I'm taking this by word because I don't need a script to know or tell you what my daughter was like. She always gave all her life. If you had the privilege to meet her, she was the best friend you'd ever had. If she needed to, if you needed something, she would drop her own needs to help you and take care of you right to the bitter end. Her, 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 she was just a forever giving and loving soul for all her life. And I knew that from day one because she was such a sweetheart. When she was smiling and running around, she was always daddy's girl. So, if you really want to know what my daughter was like, you can look on my Facebook page and see all the replies and all the condolences and everything that has been said about her because I could not speak, I would be speaking here till midnight if I was to go through it. But I just want the people of Sault Ste. Marie to know that we really are thankful to be in this lovely community because the amount of support that we are receiving from everyone, from the victim services, to the police department, to our fine municipal people, and the citizens of Sault Ste. Marie, most of all. These are the, the most beautiful people in the world, and you're so giving. So, with that being said, my daughter always lived life to the fullest. She gave it every day, even on a tough day, she worked her way through it, she found a way to get through a tough situation. She wasn't a quitter, and she never would. That's part of our motto, is never give up.